Some days, the universe just wants you to work from home. And wouldn't it be great if you just could? In the future, you'll absolutely have an artificial version of yourself that goes out performing tasks that you really don't want to do. Yeah, right. That sounds too good to be true. Like Avatar or something. Our CEO, he was the technologist behind Avatar and a whole array of different movies. And now he's using that Hollywood magic to change what it means to work. I am Cora. I am here to help Meet you. Meet Cora. She's a digital version of an actual human. Cora's consistent. Cora, Cora never sleeps. Uh, Cora's able to answer questions 24-7. She's really... Okay, okay. If she's so great, why don't you just hire her? At some point in 2018, going live with Cora is our ambition. Cora is currently being tested as a customer service rep at one of Great Britain's largest banks. I've lost my card. Do not worry. Losing a card can happen to anyone. There have been other virtual agents which are avatar based, but I haven't seen anything that is quite as realistic. Cora is kind of like a chat bot, Do you have mobile banking? but one that analyzes your facial expressions and speech. And it was developed here at a New Zealand based artificial intelligence company called Soul Machine. The whole point of it is to make machines more like us, to sort of understand the intersection between computer science and human consciousness. Soul Machines have sold a handful of avatars to companies across the world. Welcome to Mercedes Benz. And he Looks familiar, right? So, as these avatars enter the workforce, does that mean that us humans will be replaced? What is actually being replaced is the human capacity to, to do stuff quickly and repeatedly. That's a relief, sort of. As technology advances, hundreds of millions of workers worldwide could lose their job in the coming decades. A scary thought, but also a chance to approach work differently. Perhaps in 10 years, perhaps in 20 years. We need to look at how we define what work is. That is a sort of much bigger question we need to answer as a society. After all, Soul Machine sees a world where we each have a digital twin. In the future, we totally believe that there will be millions, if not billions, of artificial humans that exist. And if you could send your fake self to the office every day, how would you choose to spend your time?